Reading, of course, is a core subject taught in any elementary school. And the hope is that students will grow to enjoy and appreciate reading. But that's easier said than done. In today's School Spotlight, Delane Cleveland shows us what Greenwood Elementary in the Wyzetta School District is doing to foster a love of reading. I am on page 123. Take one step into Mrs. Sullivan's fifth grade class at Greenwood Elementary in Plymouth, and you'll see a group of students quietly fixated on storybooks. In fact, the only sound in this class... So if you were the character, what would you do? ...is that of Mrs. Yeah. Sullivan discussing plot points of books with students. I wouldn't want to go. Mm -hmm. But then I'd also be really curious on where I would go. These book discussions are part of Greenwood's mission to encourage kids to be lifelong readers. We do a great job of, you know, choosing books for kids that we know are going to engage them and maybe see a world that they didn't think could happen in a book. I'm going to tell you about is called Clifford and the Grouchy Neighbors. The older kids aren't the only ones involved in book talks. Because they had to drive like there. Even the first graders are taught how to talk to one another about books they've read. There's been this grassroots effort to invest in book talks, which is basically kind of a fancy way of saying talking about books that you love. Brad Gustafson is Greenwood's principal, and he's not joking about the school's focus on book talks. This book is action-packed and very interesting. It starts out kind of slow, but then it gets really good. Greenwood created the Twitter hashtags GWGreats and GW reads. Search the hashtags. This is Bookcast. And you'll find videos of students talking about their favorite books. What's going to rock and read? Rock and read? Break it down. I stay up too late. Mm -mm. There's something in my brain. Mm -mm. Teachers say the book talks have helped students develop a passion for reading. It was very authentic in a way that it was like me going up to my friend and saying, hey, you should read this book. It's such a great book for you and you might relate to it in this way. And I think just having that, those discussions and having those talks has really helped foster that community of reading. I think I got this. I think I got this. You ready? Videos and social media aren't the only tools they use to help with learning. Well, we're building our books. The kids also have a Lego wall they can utilize to build block versions of their favorite book covers. Yeah, it's going to get really hard when we have to make the name. The hope is that when the roughly 800 students in grades K through 5 leave Greenwood and transition to middle school, that they'll fall in love with learning. Ask a few students about their thoughts on Greenwood. It's like going to be the best school I've ever been to. And you'll get a sense. I like everything about this school. It's awesome. This is my third school and this has been my favorite by far. Of how much they enjoy it here. I mean, their potential truly is limitless. We're just kind of setting that scaffolding really early so that they can build the skills. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CCX News.